y'all. Welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. We're going to go ahead today and start our squash and such as that stuff. I've got several different things that I'm going to plant. And I like to plant more squash than I do anything else because we eat a lot of it. I give a lot of it away when it makes good. So um, I'm going to put my squash over here in this. So I'm going to put these trays for a couple of reasons. I can grab this up if it's going to come a storm and go... So I'm going to put two squash seeds in each one of these sales. This is a 12 pack tray and that way I can keep all of them in one thing. I don't know how many trays I really needed. I just grabbed what was laying there and... I may have to get some more. I may have too much. I'm sure I'll find some more seeds to start before it's over with. Ain't that how seed starting is? You, you just keep doing it. I need three more seeds. I got two more. That can crack. It ain't no count. If you save your own seed, you got to pilfer through them to see if, uh, if they good or not. So, uh, this table's got some boards down here I'm having stuff. So I'm just going to take my finger and kind of spread these and poke them. That's not a big old lump. Just poke them down under the dirt there a little bit. It ain't rocket science, y'all. One of the biggest things I have fight with seed starting is wanting to start them too early. I don't know why we all want to try to be the first one to have a tomato the first one to have a squash and, and they really they they this is way more trouble to start the seeds early like that and uh and then they'll come up and they won't do a whole lot so this golden zucchini right here done really good for me last year oh uh, now like i mentioned with these seeds you got to kind of go through them. A lot of these seeds will be flat like that one. There ain't nothing in there. So you kind of got to, when you save your own seeds, you kind of got to go through and see which ones is good seeds. One good way to do it is to stick them in some water and they'll sink or float. Like that one, you can, they ain't nothing in it. You can feel of them and if they flat and empty, you can tell they not no count. Or I can. I ain't gonna swear that everybody can. Huh? And I'm gonna go back through now and, and put two in there because in case one of them don't germinate. This is all golden zucchini seeds that I saved from last year. That one had part of a plan in it. Mm, I don't know if that one's any count or not. That one is. We'll stick that one in there too, just to see. Alright. One crucial thing I hadn't done yet. Let me go get me some popsicle sticks so I can label this stuff. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie today. I'm about tuckered out. We're going to just write squash. Our community, a lot of several, I ain't going to say a lot, but we had several folks showed up. We had a garbage pickup day. We covered about six miles or so. All right, we're going to say gold zucchini. And I, we walked and walked and walked, y'all. I'm gonna be honest with you, my hips is hurting. I'm tired. I needed to be working on knives. I did go around there. I have four knives finished. They in there, I've got boiled linseed oil soaking in them right now. And these butternut squash don't do good this time of year, but I'm gonna plant some anyway, cause they will make. Uh, main thing is my national cucumbers, my oriented cucumbers. And then I have another zucchini right here. This is the green zucchini. Let's do it next. 
But anyway, I've got the uh, the uh, knives around yonder soaking. Let that boiled linseed oil get. I better go ahead while I'm thinking and label this. We had a trailer load of garbage. And you know, some of the roads that I thought would have been the worst really wasn't as bad. It is the main road coming in and out of here was the worst one, which is usually obvious. But we did some back roads. These folks like to ride and drink a beer, you know. I used to. And they'd throw the cans out. Well, like, them back roads is where I figure most people throw it out. You know, we got around in it wasn't that bad. I don't know if somebody's picking it up around there or what, but... The reason that I went and participated is the garbage is the one thing that drives me nuts as far as throwed out all up and down the roads. And I have thrown some out over the years. I ain't proud to say that when I was young and stupid. All right, that takes care of the zucchini. Let's do these Burpees Butternut Squish. Y'all, these butternut squash is fine eating. My wife cooks them up in a way that they, you just can't hardly beat them now. When you got these store-bought seeds, you pretty well know they gonna be good. Pretty well know. Not, not no guarantee now. And I'm like, again, I'm sticking two seeds to every one of these. And I know y'all can't really, over there tell what I'm doing. I'll pull the camera in when I do the zoo, the cucumbers where you can really see how I'm doing it. I figured I'd do the most of them and stand here and run my mouth, get my talking itch scratched. And then we'll go get a water jug and water all this in good after I put the seed packets up where we don't sop in with. All right. same I'm OCD that way okay again with the cucumbers these are nationals right here now these nationals is the best thing for if you like to make pickles and Michelle she likes to make some pickles and make some pretty good pickles oh. sometimes I have had folks really brag about their pickles and when you taste of them you would have swore ain't be on on uh, Andy Griffith made them and if you don't know about that joke, you'll have, you don't watch near about enough Andy Griffith. If you watch this channel, it's a requirement that you go back and watch McClintock and the Andy Griffith show repeatedly. And probably wouldn't hurt to watch a little gun smoke occasionally. Right now, I've been, you know, on YouTube, you can watch Lonesome Dove. The whole live movie's on there for free. I've been watching it the last day or so while Michelle and them was gone. I like old Gus now. I think everybody does. All right, that is national. And if you don't label these things, y'all, you'll forget. I promise you, you won't know what what. Now you see this mess I got over here where I dumped all them seeds out. And but that, I'll probably have, have them growing right here under this table before it's said and done. Which will be okay. National cucumber. And see it's labeled so. If you don't label them seed packets you can throw them in the garbage as soon as you put the seed in there. Learned that lesson the hard way too. 
I dump you out right here that way I can tell what's good seed and what's them old flattens that ain't no count. You can fill that seed though and tell that it's got something in it or not. Like that in there. Like mama said, it's flat as a flitter. If anybody knows what a flitter is, you just let me know. Because she said that all my life, I still don't know exactly what a flitter is. I know it's flat, though. I guarantee you it's flat. And I, I didn't say fritter. I said flitter. F-L-I-T-T-E-R. So I... I've heard of a fritter, and it's some kind of a little old cake thing. It would be flat, but it ain't fritter. It's flitter. All right, this is going to conclude. The, that there ain't no count. That was flat, too. Let's see. That might be all right. We'll poke him down in there. These Orient Express cucumbers, y'all are some fine cucumbers. Now, they them long, skinny ones, as far as for me, that's the best eating ones they are. All right, we got one empty tray, and I'm sure in the next few days, I'll think of something else that I want to start in a tray, and I'll haul off and put it in there. Y'all haul off and do stuff. All right, that is the operation right there. Well, y'all, I ain't gonna lie to you none. I done concluded the video and ain't watered nothing in. You need to saturate that down real good. That way it'll MC to germinate good. And then I'm gonna just set this watering can right there. I'll need it him for long. So now they watered in good. Now look here. Thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. We just wanted to make a short video to let some of you that do like the gardening part of what we do, that we starting this type of stuff now. It is the first day of April, so April Fool's on you. We didn't even pull a joke today. I think a joke was on me. I had to pick up garbage all morning, but that's all right. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see you next time. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all, y'all have a good one.